So, ito yung mga burrs na pwede nyo gamitin for FPD. Here, you have a flat end, 0.5 mm tip na long burr. So, you can use this sa premolars. And then, beside it, it is, is a 0.75 um, tip flat end burr. So, ito ay both for premolar and molar shoulder preparation. And then, after that, you have your chamfer. I prefer to use a round end. Round end, but hindi ko siya dinidipen all throughout the tip of the bird. Ginagawa ko for premolars, almost half or more than half. And then, for the molars, at least nasa two-thirds of the depth and the tip of the burr para magkakaroon siya ng chamfer. So, yung iba, torpedo, but hindi ako na confident sa torpedo kasi I can see na medyo nagkakaroon siya ng um, feather edge finish instead of chamfer. So, mas kita yung chamfer preparation when you use a round end na burr. Then, after pre preparing your shoulder and chamfer, you can either go to your finishing agad or later on sa last step. So, with your finishing burr, you have a 0.75 finishing burr for your premolars. And then, for your molars, you can either have this or an, a 1 millimeter na finishing flat end. So, dito naman, when you, when you go to your occlusal, it's, it's any burr na con, you can you can easily control kasi syempre ang daming slopes. So, for general occlusal reduction, I use a wheel burr and then um, reduce 1.5 millimeter on all cusps first. Not exactly at 1.5, siguro mga nasa 1.3, so short of 1.5 para may allowance pa ako to do the occlusal anatomy. So, and then after that, you can pick any of this burr. Kung, kung sanay ka sa long, long, long na burr, na prosto burr, you can use a um, finishing na torpedo burr. Kasi with the, with the pointed tip, it's easier to create yung mga grooves. And the, yeah, it's, it's cleaner and it's easier but if you use a round end, mas, mas hindi defined yung grooves. And then after that, if hindi ka, kon, hindi ka masyadong sanay sa long, you can either use a 0.5 cylinder resto burr. I personally can observe na kapag long, short kasi yung burr, mas easier mo siya nakakontrol. So for ako, for occlusal, mas okay sa akin ang either of these two. It's either a cylinder or a tapered fissure burr. Dito sa view na to, you can see na half of the burr went in all throughout. Tapos tingnan natin kung height niya ba is tama. At least 0.5. So, medyo mataas pa. Let us move it down. So, slow na lang ang cut ng burr natin dito. Moving on with our premolars, I switch to an, a smaller burr. This is a 0.5 to 0.6 burr. Para later on, kahit maipasok natin ko sa full structure niya, there's still some allowance to give way for your 0.75 finishing burr na flat end. For this naman, I will use a 1mm na finishing burr na flat end. Okay? Kasi 0.75 ang width ng CFL natin sa premolar. And then, 1 millimeter for your molar. So, you know, so bang rip pa niya. Next part, parallel ulit to the two structures.
kususin sudah tuh saya nanti tanggung yang beri nanti beri join tuyo kasi maliit naman yung tip ng bin One side is done. You can see I just kept my bill straight. Hindi ako gumanan. Hindi ako gumanan. Just straight. Hindi ako nakaganyan. So just letting the the bird do the the cutting para kung saan man tumama yung tip and the upper body is well cut. So let's move to the other side. Diba? Taas muna. Then push the bird.